Right guys, uh, start with this one. Uh, we're given that the blocks A and B, so A and B are the blocks over here, of course. Uh, corresponding masses are MA and AB are at rest on a horizontal surface with neg negligible friction. Well, that's good to hear. Block A is attached to the table. Okay, I see. Uh, this is the block A that is being attached to the table by these attachments. Uh, block c of mass mc suspended by a string that is tied to block b of course we can see that block b via pulley goes to block c the blocks all remain at rest which of the following gives the magnitude of the force exerted by block a on block b it makes sense that there is a normal reaction between these two a normal force between a and b because there is a common surface that they share correct first things first i need to make an fpd so uh, over here, I have a tension. Over here, I have an MCG. Actually, you know what? C is not required because we are not even talking about C. Uh, let's talk only about um, this situation over here. So uh, this is a tension that is being uh, that is being uh, that is on the left side, and A exerts a normal reaction on B towards the right side, and due to the action reaction. B exerts the normal reaction on over on the left side on A. So let me denote it with left side small m. It seems like uh, this FBD will also be required because after all we are capturing tension over here. So this tension and this MCG is the um, is the FBD on C. Obviously, there is an MAG acting downwards and there is an MBG acting downwards. I don't think so that will be involved, right? Because we are only interested, because it has a zero acceleration and acceleration is in the horizontal sense. So we are only interested in the horizontal forces. So as of now, I'm not going to show these. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's equate these forces. Because the system is at rest, all the forces should cancel out each other. So, if I talk about C, then tension should be equal to MCG, that's one. If I talk about B, the tension should be equal to the normal reaction that we are supposed to find. Remember, there is no friction. And at A, um, actually, you know what? A is not required, I would say, because uh, we just need to find a normal. So, don't you think from these two equations, I can just sub in this T equal to N in equation number one. So, I'm going to get... Uh, n is equal to mcg that's all what they needed right obviously just to be clear you might be thinking that a has a force on the left side then who, who which force is countering it because it's not moving right it is the attachments so the attachments must be providing an equal and opposite uh, uh, attachments must be providing a same force on the right side so this is the fa or let's call it just f force because of the attachment and this force will be equal to n if I were to draw, uh, if I were to write a Newton's law on block A, it will look like F is equal to N, where this is the force due to the attachment. Anyway, that's not required, but yeah, N is equal to MCG. That's pretty straightforward, so the answer is option B.